tonight from Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. It's time for Monday Night Football on EA Sports. We'll see Carson Wentz and the Philadelphia Eagles taking on Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks. Just north of the Delaware Expressway and east of Broad Street, we find ourselves at Lincoln Financial Field in South Philly. Just a short time ago, these Philly fans in full roar as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. Pyrotechnics ablaze. They're set to go as their Eagles will match up with Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. The Eagles take over first. Out come the Eagles for their first drive, let out by their quarterback in his fifth year in Philly, Carson Wentz. And no excitement unless, he, unless you're on the defensive team of last week in his numbers because the only excitement he really generated was the one interception he threw. Yeah, no touchdown pass. Yeah, and his team wasn't real thrilled about that. And they lost the game. So I know this week has been tough on him because he's been working hard. Fundamentals, footwork, finding the right targets. And bottom line, how do they get away? The Sanders on first down with a little bit of space as he works his way forward, a gain of four. He's tackled at the, at the end of all that hitting and hollering. It was a four yard run, so the offense is going to go back to Huddle, feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 12 yards there and a first down. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. Gonna look deep for Jeffrey. And it's intercepted. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. They'll take over first and Seattle's first go on offense, forthcoming, and under center, of course, Russell Wilson. Gave the commencement address at the University of Wisconsin a couple of years ago. One of the most popular players ever to pull on the uniform there. The beginning of his career, he was a so-called game manager. Take care of the football, rely on the defense. Now, in this stage of his career, the offense runs through him, and it runs very well. A bit of an opening there on the first down run as they get this forward for about six yards. And that run, that changes the whole mentality about the drive right there. They were starting on their own two-yard line. They just wanted enough space to punt the football successfully. Now they're talking about putting together a drive. He's definitely one of the best defensive tackles in the game. He's been a pro bowl the last five years running. When you run against Fletcher Cox, good luck. On third down, Carson, and he is going to have the first down as he's up to his own 13-yard line. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Pick up on the play. First down, Seahawks. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. No score after one on EA Sports. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. 
flushed out right. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice, get rid of it, live to find another down. A throw complete to Dorsett. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. They face a third and four after that last completion gets them six. And he's got Lockett. Tyler Lockett. He's at the 30. 10, 5. And all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle! Tyler Lockett, an 80-yard touchdown as his guys are on the board first here tonight. After a fairly uneventful first quarter, that last play, that'll make a few highlight clips. It certainly will, and you're exactly right. The first quarter almost felt like a feeling-out process, didn't it? Both teams, okay, what are we going to do? Looks like they ramped things up just a little bit to start the second quarter. And this will give the Seahawks a 7 to nothing lead. So the drive there took six plays. And the Seahawks capping it off with a touchdown. Michael Dixon to kick off for Seattle. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. First and 10 at their own 28-yard line. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he'll be taken down after a gain of about eight as that will lead us to the two-minute warning. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. A reminder coming up just a few minutes from now, we'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and scores from yesterday's action. The throw over the middle, taken in. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And give him six yards here as he's stopped near the 35 at the 34. It's a pickup of six. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. 34-yard line. incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Wins to throw again. Goodwin able to haul it in. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. At the 29-yard line. He's not going to get me. Wentz now on first down. Caught by the tight end Ertz. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Again, it's Wentz. And now nothing but green ahead of him. 30. Pass the 20, Woo! and Give he will this. take this one home. It's a touchdown. Seattle. Now remember, this is the number one defense in the National Football League. There's a good example of why. Shows that they set an aggressive tone, not just stopping the run, not just getting after the quarterback, but the ball's in the air. They treat it like they're the receivers, and they went after that one and took it all the way. The extra point now coming from Myers. And it's good to make it four. Fourteen, nothing. Personal foul. 
Roughing the kicker. Defense. Let me play, dog. Let me play. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. And you're under a minute to go in the half, a first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, lick your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second. But there's also something to challenging your offense right here. You know, hey, guys, you help dig this hole. See if you can get us out of it a little bit before the half runs out. Let's go make some plays. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. Working from the gun, Wentz. And he finds his tight end, it's Ertz. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Now Wentz on third down. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Fighting a safety valve here, that's complete. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. He's got the hook up here to Deshaun Jackson. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 42. So we come upon halftime with our score 14 to nothing as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports. And okay, so much for our halftime break. Apparently we're gonna get right back to it. To kick off for Philadelphia. The Seahawks with the advantage and they get the football first as the second half is underway. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field, ready for their second drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. A gain of three, second down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. And he'll get about four across the 30 to the 32. It's a game. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Wilson now to throw on third down. Flush to his right, and that is incomplete. But the other day they told us, well, we've got third and five or less. We have to be able to convert, and I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point, and they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. So certainly an interesting call there to go for. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. On first and ten, it's Sanders. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. One of the best of the last decade or so, Bobby Wagner in to bring him down. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. And that'll be incomplete. 
He was looking for Miles Sanders out of the backfield. And it's third down. He was covered by this offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Shotgun now for Wentz. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he's going to get this to the 31, but that is still well short of what he needed. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tackles. We'll give you the short stuff, and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, go. coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point, or in this case, a field goal. So here are the Seahawks ready to take over on offense. They've got the lead right now, and remember, they are riding that very impressive seven-game winning streak, trying to push it to eight. Wilson of the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Throw left side to start the drive is complete. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. It's second and inches at the 35-yard line. Throwing again on second down. Wilson. He finds Dorsett. It's complete. And out across midfield down to the 45. That one a gain of 20 and a first down. First down, Seattle. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. From the shotgun, Wilson escaping the pressure right, and he fires one incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Throwing again, Wilson. And he whips that one incomplete there. Greg Olson was the intended target, and it's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Being chased out left. Open man is Jacob Hollister, and he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. That'll pick up the first down for Seattle on a gain of 18. Big hook up there, forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. This is caught, and they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. That one goes for 24 yards. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. Again, Wilson. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. On second down now, it's Carson, and he will take this one in for the Seattle touchdown. 
Chris Carson, his 11th touchdown of the year. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. And we know they won't get their names in the stat sheet, but the offensive line has to get all the credit for that touchdown run. Tremendous job of blocking, paving the way for the six points. Jason now Myers Meyer. for the extra point. And it's 21 to three. So that one an eight play drive, it spans 75 yards. And it was all capped off by the Chris Carson touchdown run. Michael Dixon to kick off. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he returns this to the 22. The Eagles take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. Well, I think that the folks here had hoped that maybe this home atmosphere would carry their guys to a surprise victory, but it does not appear that that's going to be the case. There's too much to handle on the other side in this one. Throwing on first is Wentz. And the Seahawks defense gets to him, and they bring him down. Terrell Suggs able to record his fifth sack of the season. That's caught by Jackson. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. On Wentz is intercepted yet again. It's Quentin Dunbar with a pick. So many times we end a game, and as we're recapping it, we're talking about what offenses did and how they won the game. Let's flip this one over. The defense, they frustrated the offense the entire ball game. That's why they're walking out of here with a victory. And they're going to love to walk out of here with that as their final act, that interception. Good way for them to end it. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. After the interception, here's Wilson. Here's Carson with a catch out of the backfield. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Steps away to his left. And this is caught inside the five. That's good for 28 yards. This offense can certainly move quickly when they want to. Three plays, three pass completions, in the blink of an eye, they've got a first and goal. Almost felt like a lightning bolt hit in this game, didn't it, for them to get downfield that quickly? And now first and goal, expect them attack right here on this play. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. Wilson wants to throw it. They'll roll him out right. And he's going to score. It's a Seahawk touchdown. Touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run. Here the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. So now a two-point conversion attempt coming for Wilson and the Seahawks. From the gun, it's Wilson buying time to his left. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. <laughs> I think this is just going to be a function of the times we live in now. Very similar to the bat flip in baseball. Everyone's got to start to get comfortable with this. But to me, this is just rubbing it in. You got a big lead. Go ahead and take the extra point. One thing to keep in mind, though, karma's still out there. And sometimes it has a way of catching up with you. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. 
Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. Alshon Jeffrey, the intended receiver, but it's going to be second down. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. From the gun, it's Wins. And this will be incomplete. The Pro Bowl tight end, Zach Ertz, the intended target. And it'll bring up third down. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. Wentz going to go on fourth down. And Jeffrey's got it. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. It's Goodwin. Now a final chance to stop it here as a timeout comes in with 10 seconds left in the game. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Again, they'll throw with Wentz. That's complete to a speedy wideout, Goodwin. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. One final try now for Wentz. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. So the victory here for Seattle. And it was their defense that led the way, allowing just three points that lone field goal in the entire second half. And remember the old adage, offense sells tickets. Defense does what? Wins championships. And in this game, maybe a championship wasn't won, but a game was by the defense, right? Held them to just a field goal? That's a heck of a job. I mean, when they went out there with that determination and a pretty good game plan, pretty good idea of what they wanted to accomplish, just love the execution, love the tenacity, love the way they finished. So for the Seahawks, they just keep on rolling as they move to 9-0.